Cultural expectations of behavior also affect rates of diagnosis. It is curious that autism garnered little attention until after World War II. The deadening of emotion observed in some Holocaust survivors inspired theories of autism and led to the widely promoted belief that it was the frigidness or overt hostility of the mother that was responsible for autism. The so-called refrigerator mother view of autism was widely promoted by Bruno Bettelheim. Although Japan employed play therapy as a treatment for autism, encouraging children to emerge from their shell or to open their closed hearts by expressing themselves spontaneously, many children who would be diagnosed as autistic today did not receive treatment. For example, in 2009, I spoke with a father of a child with autism. It was not until his own child was diagnosed as autistic that he realized his brother, whom he had grown up with and his parents had kept hidden in his home, was also autistic. Although he confronted his parents with his diagnosis, they refused to accept. There are a variety of explanations for why children with disabilities are secreted from society, but Dr. Imanishi suggests that the concept of Zashikiwarashi, a monster of Japanese folklore, May have functioned as an explanation for autism. No, Zashikiwarashi wa Iwate o tsushin ni Tohoku chihou ni iru to sare Okappa atama ni akarago ga tokuchou no kodomo no yokai de. Like many autistic children, Zashikiwarashi suffer from what appears to be sensory disturbance. They never wear shoes, they are nocturnal, they tend to have speech disturbances, and they repeat words or sounds. Historical research on autism may yield important insight into the disorder. More research needs to be done to determine how autistic traits came to be viewed as abnormal in societies that value aesthetic withdrawal. A deeper understanding of historical conceptions of childhood may also be fruitful. In medieval Japan, it was believed that children were not fully human until the age of seven. The strong connection between children and the spirit world may underlie a greater willingness to accept what would now be termed as aberrant behavior in children. Autism is not a disease of civilization. Most likely, it has been present for most of human history. Placing autism in a historical context is crucial for promoting understanding about the disorder.